Um, the reason I did it, Larry, I was uh, encouraged by my accountant. Uh, he thought this would be uh, a pretty good uh, investment for me. I mean, still uh, got a few uh, years of life left in me and, and uh, to utilize the useful life of the solar panels. And uh, with the dairy here, we've got a significant energy draw. Um, so with that, we, we went ahead to uh, and started pricing uh, solar arrays to, to replace the electricity that we use here on our dairy. The biggest benefit, it, it did what it said it would. It, it's reduced our electricity bill to zero. Um, so uh, that's a huge benefit. And the other thing is it's unlike any other investment I've ever made on the dairy where it does not require any management time and does not require any labor. Uh, this just quietly works in the background and uh, I, I don't have to do anything to it. Just uh, when I get my uh, statement from the electric company every month, it just says I've got a zero balance and, uh, and I, I just spend my time managing the cows and the crops. We sell our uh, electricity to Alliant Energy and Alliant has a, uh, a, a net metering uh, policy. Uh, so the electricity I produce um, goes against what I use and and I get uh, credit for that at retail rates uh, for as much electricity as I use on the dairy. Uh, if I produce anything over and above that then it gets sold at wholesale rates um, which is less than a fourth of the cost of retail rates so um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to build a bigger solar array than what you're going to use personally uh, but you can build right up to that level and uh, with the net metering agreement that uh, Alliant Energy has, it, it makes a, a good arrangement. Uh, as far as payback is concerned, this is not a rapid payback. Uh, I estimate that it's gonna take seven years before I get my money back out of what I invested. Um, but the good side of that is uh, that the solar panels have a guaranteed lifespan of 25 years um, and the power inverters, uh, which convert the um, DC power that the solar panels produce, and they change that over to AC power, which the grid can use, um, they probably have more of a 10 to 12 year lifespan, so they may need to be replaced once uh, in the course of its useful life. Um, but basically, if I've got seven or eight years uh, worth of payback, and then I've got another 16 plus years uh, of zero electric. Um, I kind of looked at it last year. Uh, we got a, a healthy amount of government payments due to COVID. Um, if guys were looking at prepaying inputs, uh, basically what I've done is, is uh, made an investment to prepay the next 25 years worth of electricity cost. Uh, and so from a tax standpoint, I kind of think of it that way. Uh, the, the thing I do give up uh, from a tax standpoint is my electricity deduction every year. So I can't, since I'm not paying an electric bill, I do not get a deduction for electricity costs. Okay, so overall it sounds like a pretty good technology for a dairy farm. I believe so, I mean, especially with the uh, electricity draw that a, that a dairy farm has. I mean, this is, uh, when nothing else is making money, <laughs> at least the sun is shining and we're, and we're, we're still generating power.